Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to prevent your third person camera from clipping through walls or floors or the roof or anything like that in your game. And so this is going to be quite a quick one because it's just a simple fix to a really annoying bug. And I'll show you what happens. So if you're playing your game, you walk up to the wall, the camera goes through it like that or through the floor or through other walls like this and it's just really annoying and just makes your game look a lot worse and not as professional. So today I'll be showing you how to fix that so this doesn't happen. So what we're going to do is open up our character blueprint. So mine's third person, so it's third person BP, blueprints, third person character. We go straight over to the viewport over here and what we want to do is we want to select the camera boom. So we're going to be using the camera boom to fix this issue. So if you just select that like so, what we're going to do is reset the target arm length to whichever one you like. So 300 is by default which I think is quite a good value. Obviously change this to fit the camera that you want and we're just going to reset the camera location up here by transform like so. And then if we actually just move this camera as well then essentially now we fix it. So we've gone the camera boom again. This is now essentially fixed but we kind of want this to be on the camera boom at the end like that. So that is good. Now what we're going to do is change the camera location using the camera boom instead of just moving the camera. So I'm assuming if you change the camera and it's not working, you probably moved it without using a camera boom. So what we're going to do is just select the camera boom still and move it about in here using these instead of the actual camera one. So what it is, is the socket offset down here under camera, socket offset, we move it using this. And you can see the red line of the camera boom goes with it, meaning that is where it will be. So it moves along this red line and if it goes into a wall, it will go down this red line instead of going through. So I'm just going to move this to where I want it to be. And these are the exact same coordinates as what it would have been on your actual camera. So you can just remember those if you want, if that makes it easier for you. So like I say, I'm just going to move this out a bit like this. And then you can just rotate the camera. That doesn't affect it at all. So like that, you can rotate it without it being on the camera boom, like so. So I think that will probably be good for me. And if you don't have the camera boom, you can just add it up here. So add component, uh, camera boom. The reason I don't have one there is because I already have one in here, but you should already have one as you get it with the third person character. So like I say, let's test this now. So compile, save, minimize. And if we hit play, still move the camera like normal. If we move it down here, it moves along with the floor. So it doesn't go through the floor. If we go over here to the wall, it then moves along with the wall as well. So if the camera collides with a wall, it will just simply stay there and act as if the wall is an actual fully functioning physical object instead of just clipping straight through it. So as you can see, this looks a lot better. It gives this game a nice, polished, professional feel to it. And it just looks a lot nicer, especially if you have like hidden stuff behind the wall or it is just an empty field like it is here. This just simply keeps the camera in the area you want it to be in and doesn't clip through the wall and this looks great. So like I say, it's a very quick, simple fix to an incredibly annoying bug. So I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we want to do. We've moved the camera to where we want it to be and have it on the camera boom so that it stops and prevents the camera from clipping through objects like these walls and also these stairs and stuff down here as well. It just moves along with it like so. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.